Neat. That's a really specific thing. <clears throat> I was going through and selling my stuff off so we can clean that up between episodes a little bit. Have more space to move around. I noticed that this, uh, you can have a value to weight ratio. That's an interesting sorting feature. Like what stuff is making, what stuff is taking up the most, most of your overall inventory, but isn't necessarily that valuable. It's like this thing has a weight of 0.2, but a value of nine. But this thing has a weight of 0.3 and a value of one. So it's at the bottom of the spectrum. An interesting option there. Hmm. Hunting rifle. Forty DPS, fifty three DPS. But this one has mods, right? Yeah, magazine size and weapon range. This one just has the weapon range. So I've already invested in this one, so I should probably keep it unless I want to use a different mod. There's the fifty percent magnum. 25% increased crit damage. Would be nice to try to enc encourage some of those actual one-shot headshots to happen. Melee weapon grip speed. Silver tongue. Dialogue skills. Hmm. Right, without a bench I can't really use any of these things anyway. Something I can help you with? Fresh off the limb. And that includes canid meat. I can sell the one that's for melee weapons that I'm probably not going to use. Got that going for me. I'm also not really convinced I would in particularly use the, uh, the quiet mod. Might as well just be prepared not to use that. Something I... see the fiver 192 dps and it is uh it costs twice as much as the money that i have so far not a good start hmm sure and straight barrel reduced weapon spread and sp and sway kind of a shotgun thing i guess i guess also rifles like the, anything anything that's not entirely accurate it probably is good for Nah, let's just focus on repair. That's the one. Gotta have my alternate weapon ready, or I'll get in trouble. When bads happen. Wait, is it that damaged already? Third oh shit, it is. Something. I'm out there taking hits. The uh, repair. Sorry. Yeah. Shit. My trips are expensive. <laughs> I gotta take fewer hits. And give more. Now I can go back to introducing myself to the locals. Hello, deserter, with no name. If you're hungry, Stefan's got supplies. Okay. No, I, don't, I, don't, I want to intrude upon your home, if you don't mind. See if I learn anything interesting. I learned that people mostly don't believe in bathroom doors in this universe. That's freaking, that's, that's freaking me out a little bit. <laughs> I just walked in that person's house and they just kind of let me have it. They just wandered off like, go ahead. You can have it now if you want. And so I did. I moved in. Keep your wits about you, friend. I'm trying to wonder how many characters there's going to be around here. If you're hungry, Stefan supplies. Everyone's a big fan of Stefan. Most popular guy in town. If you're hungry, Stefan's got supplies. Oh, that's Thomas. He used to follow me around before he left the cannery. Ah, you know someone. 
That has a little texture this place a little bit, doesn't it? Who lives up here? That door looks sealed. Why are these doors so sealed? Also, who's keeping a little bit of money in a... A mock apple? As we heard about those. Who's keeping their money in a small container on their porch that's publicly accessible? Strange strategy you got there. Oh, and now I learned I can walk through her. Nobody look at me. Hi. Keep your wits about you. Actually, this isn't the most fruitful thing so far. Maybe I should just check out the objective. Oh, wait, maybe that's Thomas over here. Maybe that's who she's reacting to. Nope. No, I think that was Thomas back there. Keep your wits about you, friend. Oh. Oh, ah, uh, didn't see you there. I was, uh. Well, I was just occupying myself with a little engineering. Whoa, huh. Miss Parvati. <laughs> hey, you're, uh, what, um, how, how are you? Hi, 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 uh, hello. Are you, uh, uh, are things safe out here? How are you keeping? Great, just great. I've been trying to keep stuff running, just like you. Only I'm not so... Wait, they didn't kick you out, did they? Oh, gosh, no. I I'm just along with this fella here. Are you from town? I, I mean, you don't exactly look like you're from town. Which mean... Somebody that he recognizes at all. So this is Thomas. I just, I just couldn't zero in on who she was recognizing. I'll take that as a compliment. Well, what I meant was you're reasonably well-armed and don't look stricken with plague. Sorry, I just wasn't sure if you were from town or if you were one of us. Something's been chewing at me, you see. Fact is, I've been, well, lying to everybody here. Camp thinks I'm a mechanical genius, but I couldn't fix a busted chair. Just came right out and admitted that with no prompting. All right. Never too late to start learning. I could give you a couple pointers. I'll take all the help I can get. I set my mind to learning the craft of the engineer, you see. I want to make something of myself. You ever heard of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering? Comes in a set of three. If I had my hands on one of those data pads, I could teach myself the ins and outs. Those are good. My dad kept a copy with him when he was working in the cannery. I know the old community center kept a copy. Should find another one back in town. If you could find me even one of those pads, I'd be greatly obliged. I've already got two. Well, today's your lucky day, Thomas. I've got one of those data pads you wanted. No kidding! Really? Well, which one? Part 1, found at the Community Center, Arch uh, Center Archives. Look at that! Building a computing machine out of Spectrum Potatoes, a primer. I'm just glad it survived all these years. I appreciate you going through all that trouble. In fact, I put aside something special on the off chance that somebody would search out those data pads for me. Hold on, I got more for you. Well, don't keep me in suspense. Part two, found it in the cannery. Ain't that just ironical. If I'd worked a little longer back at the cannery, I might have found this myself. Two whole data pads? Be still my beating heart. Oh, almost forgot your payment. I'll let you know if I find any others. Sure, I'd be glad to take them off your hands. I want to ask you something. What's on your mind? How long have you lived here? Couple months. This camp's my home. People you see milling about, they're my family. At least I think of them that way. I owe them my life. Would have died in the wilderness if they hadn't chanced upon me, starving and delirious. What were you doing out in the wilderness? We all left the cannery for one reason or another. 
Me? I was let go, mostly on account of my incompetence. I mean, I was incompetent. I couldn't even survive on my own. Grace found me, Adelaide took me in, I've been on my feet ever since. You weren't incompetent. You just didn't fit the cannery. Not like here. This place had a U-shaped hole and now it doesn't. You could stay, you know, here. I'd be happy to, I mean, uh, we could really use. Uh, oh, this isn't coming out right. Uh, if you want, Adelaide would make a place for you. I should go. <laughs> oh, hey, he's got the thing I wanted. Boop, boop. This is what I was looking for. I should probably do more manual repairs in the future because the, uh, yeah. You pay the consequences if you pay for the repairs. Hunting rifle. Hmm. That's how you set, separate the two slots. So this will give me 20, uh, 50% increased magnum, magazine size. Oh. I thought I had bonus crit. Is that specifically only for other guns? Yeah, this mod is already installed. Thought I had better options than that. What about the sawed off shotgun? Same option here. Hmm. The fun time is barrel. 25% bonus crit crit damage. Yep, that, that does do something. And there's the Magnum. This counts as heavy weapons. How am I with the uh, heavy weapons? It's still under ranged, not my best, but it's there. I suppose. Hmm. I've even got plus five right now. It does not make sense to upgrade it, I suppose. Uh, yeah. There's nothing currently installed in this thing. I'm gonna go out there and make a right mess of things. Oh, yep, there it is. It's like a Tesla cannon. That should prove fun at some point. I do like the simplicity of my rifle, though. Can I pick these from the tree? No? You have to wait for them to fall? Mock apple. It's almost food! <laughs> well, I found two of those things before I even found the person who wanted them. Can't wait to also find the person who wanted the other item I, I found. He's got some space to himself. Well, not really. Ah, uh, there's the power regulator. That's the one. And now there's the back door. So you can sneak in without even getting seen by anybody. And get out with it with nobody the wiser. There's at least a couple characters standing around around here. That that aren't just the person I'm here to find. 72% rep. Ooh, vendor prices are reduced by 15%. Nice. It's only improving. If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're barren illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Any questions, dear? Well, aren't you just a saintly old granny? Am I going to find out you're actually awful? Or are you actually going to be kind of great? 
You must be Adelaide. I have been called that, among other things. Green Thumb, Grandmother, the strange old lady who keeps flowers. But yes, Adelaide will do just fine. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you often. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobacco-horn tea. I brew it in an old spittoon, but it's been cleaned. You could have just not told me that. Also, what a weird fucking way to react to somebody saying your name. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Yes, I have been called that, among other things. Like I, is it not your name? Is this your greenhouse? No, dear. The garden belongs to us all. Life is the gift of the universe, and the universe yields its bounty equally, absent of prejudice. I'm surprised you managed to grow anything out here. The soil around the Vale went sour years ago, but I found a way to sweeten it back up. The secret recipe is a little bit of elbow grease, a dash of love, and a heaping pile of special fertilizer. Sugar, spice, and everything nice. Looks like you've made a home for yourself out here. A home for anyone who's ever turned their backs on Edgewater. A home for those of us with nowhere left to go and nothing to lose. So like the spores of the puffball, cast on the wind and alighting on fresh soil, we put down new roots. Why did you leave your old home? It is an unpleasant story, dear. But the short of it is that sometimes one wakes up and realizes the place that was once her home for much of her life has changed. The home in which we spent our lives has left us behind, and so we must move on. And that is as much as I will say on the subject. Reed sent me to make peace with you. Reed Thompson? You here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace, then? Reed asks you to consider coming back to town. He's willing to make amends. Make amends? Spare me. Only thing Reed knows how to make is a mess. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. Reed asked me to divert your power over to him. You mentioned a geothermal plant. He would do such a thing. The question is, why would you agree to his plans? Your camp is a power regulator. I needed to repair my ship. Cannery's got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. Disappointing? I kind of was hoping she'd take the stance of like, well, I guess you're doomed then. We can offer you a home here. like. <laughs> Like if she was like that, and it was up to you to come to the conclusion to, uh, go after the cannery. But instead, she's just as happy to send you to wipe out the other group, too. What have you got against the town? You've seen that miserable excuse for a town with your own lamps. Hollowed out workers laboring their lives away at the cannery, living off whatever scraps Spacer's choice throws them. 
You know that's true, don't you, Ms. Holcomb? Your father died of overwork. His heart gave out. He, he was tired all the time, sure, but he was old, ma'am, and he raised me all by his lonesome. Look what they did to this child. Lost her family to the company, and still she defends them. I don't much like you throwing that in her face to get me on your side. I'm all right. I ain't so fragile. That was unkind of me. I'm sorry, dear. <laughs> I may be fragile, but I'm not that fragile. <laughs> that phrase is so ruined for me. Uh, let's say I help you. What happens to Edgewater? Life in Edgewater grinds to a halt. The cannery shuts down, workers desert in droves, and our own little camp grows and thrives. You think Reed's just trying to spite you? You bring power to Reed's town and you'll be killing us. Reed knows it. He's counting on it. If that'll be killing you, if that'll be killing you, then why wouldn't that be killing them? I'll consider it. I trust you will listen to your conscience. I mean, I'm sure I probably like this place more than that place, although it, I don't, I haven't, this place seems kind of underdeveloped. I'm not getting a lot of texture about this place. I'm not really meeting a lot of characters. Aside from the lunatic, there was like one guard who cares about people. And there's the lunatic lady who went off to join the raiders. That was a weird detail. But like, there was actually... Oop. And the game crashed. And we're back. I assume I've already talked to you? Deliver Reed's message, yeah. Okay. Well, that was annoying. The game just crashed right when I looked at this building. Let's see what happens again. All right. Don't walk over there or the game crashes. Boy howdy, what the fuck? <laughs> What's even causing it to crash? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Disco Elysium didn't crash a single goddamn time. <laughs> Alright, I guess I just won't go over there. You're not crashing the game, are you, lady? Oh. What the fuck? Uh, uh, flee the area. Leave, 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 leave. Uh, are we good? I think she might be doing something in the building and it's like trying to load an animation or something when she gets to the back of the room. And if I, and if I see it happen, the game crashes. Or in some other way, it might be dangerous to be at the back of that building or something. I don't know. I'm about ready to leave this town and try to continue the story elsewhere and just... Stay away? Like, I want to explore this town, but it's really unappealing to have the game just instantly crash that consistently. And I'm really confused. Like, what's causing that glitch, and how is it still in the game? Am I a crazy, unlucky, like... Like, is this just the worst luck or something? Or did, like... Or is this like a replicatable thing that's definitely happening to a bunch of people? That's some- oh, those are mines, goddamn. That's some risky business. Yeah, most of these buildings are- are locked up. I don't know. I'm a little disappointed by this town. I feel like you get more development of the main town, and this place is pretty minor. You got the, that little couple having the little side quest, and then once you get past that, Oh, wow, yeah. So she stands around in a vacuum. These three characters are all attached to one side quest, which is pretty brief. And you don't learn about a lot about the town in the process. You just learn about this one crazy lady that's that goes off to the bandits. So then all you really have to go on is the one engineer guy and, and the actual main character, which leaves this place kind of flat. What you did to talk some sense into Zoe, but I appreciate it. 
All about the persuasion scat stat, lady. Gotta get that persuasion up. There's a nest of bad over there. One of my objectives is over there. Is that for the... Oh, that's the other collection thing. No, I want the... The engineer. Nope, we don't really know where it is. So just gotta keep an eye out for it. Well, one of the Marauders is right down that way, I suppose. I guess I'll have myself a look-see. Oh, this, no, we, we, gotta, we gotta go around. <laughs> this place is contained. It seems to me that if the Marauders get cleaned out, basically everyone's happy. They seem to be a real issue around here. What a- what a- that, that's a hell of a crash, by the way. Like, I- I've had my fair share of game crashes, but it's usually not so, like, instant and, like, clean. Usually when a game crashes, it's like, uh-oh, we're fucked. Oh no. Oh, are we in trouble? Oh no. And then it, and then it finally goes, and you're like, ah, oh, yep, there it goes. But this time around, it was just like... <laughs> instantly, you're instantly looking at your desktop. What the hell are those guys? Tarot Ray. Oh, that's things I saw on the thing. Hey, guys. Oh. No, you don't want to do this. That's a mistake. Oh, you chose poorly, Tarot Ray. You should not attack. Hmm. Well, that seems like a barrier for me. Hmm. Whoop! Ow! Oh, the geothermal power plant. I always wanted to poke around in here. And so we shall, but we're not going to screw them all over. <clears throat> or I guess we can redirect back at them. Music box. I don't think I'm gonna make my power choice yet next necessarily, but uh I'll poke around. Is anyone here? System uh Oh. Ooh, boo, 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 boo. They've got mech guards here. Wait, you can just go under this? Well, now I feel silly. Okay, so this is this is the main story location of this region. I'm gonna move, I'm gonna come back later. I do feel silly for jumping over it, considering there's a a hole underneath that would have made that a lot easier. Doc Maybell. Maybe we can have a chat. Maybe it's just that other guy that doesn't like to chat. Not looking great. Nope. Heads down. Nope. 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 Turns out marauders are hostile. Oh god. Uh, uh... Boom! I... Uh, okay. I'm dead. Pro tip. Test fire guns so you know how to use them. I, I, I was just staring at him. I'm like, how do I make him shoot? How do I... How do I <laughs> well, I want to shoot. <laughs> Thank you, checkpoint. Let's try this again. How the fuck do you shoot this gun? Wait, was it shooting the whole time? I was left clicking and nothing was happening. Maybe I was maybe I was already shooting him and just couldn't tell. I'm actually really unclear about what the fuck just happened there. Well, I finally died. I think that was the first time.
Really? Who taught me how to aim? Like, like for real. Who's letting me embarrass myself on the internet with this aiming? Like, y'all had the chance to stop me and you didn't. Now I'll never learn. Got him. Hey, Parvati, you want to get up? Well, I'm actually out of heals. I'm this bad. And also randomly press the heal button when I shouldn't, which isn't helping. Let's try using one of these things I keep not using. Food. Eat food. That gives you 200% healing for its duration. But it's only 200% of your normal healing rate, which isn't necessarily great. Anybody left around here? If you are, you really should have helped while you had the chance. Now you guys are significantly less capable of fighting me off. Because your big scary mega gun guy is dead. Ah, a vending machine. It's really funny that we just like, respect vending machines enough to still use them as vending machines when they're just out in the open. And everyone's a raider, so you would think you could just kick that vending machine's ass and take all its shit, steal its lunch money. But we're like, I'll I'll still use etiquette here. I just murdered everybody else, but sure. I'm a nice marauder. I respect capitalism. Even now. Ammo for days. Jeez, I have a lot of shots. I feel like I have enough bullets already to beat the game. Can I read those? Aw. But I like reading things, game. Let me read things. Give me more documents. You're giving me a distinct lack of documents. That's when I get tested. You don't- you wouldn't like me when I'm tested. Where is this guy? He's not in this camp at all. I thought this was how I need to get to him by going around. This is such a distinct- this is such a bizarre aesthetic. These like windswept basalt columns. Well, I guess you all just died for funsies. Congrats. You're not even who I came here for. Yeah, maybe this leads to him? How embarrassing. Oh yeah, here we are. Oh no! Look out! Nah. <laughs> oh, they're coming. Oh, they're coming. Doggy! I don't need- I don't need this for doggy. Stop. Yeah, I don't think Doc is, an, is a talker. Uh, this is a bad time to introduce- to interrupt. I'm in the middle of a fight, but okay. TNL makes the best gear for your companions and family. Your companion has leveled up and can be granted a new perk. Go to the companion page. I'm a little busy right now. But thanks for tip. I like my coward gun. It's a coward gun for cowards, which is what I am. We, we're gonna get along great. Ooh, cave. 
And yes, I am proud of myself for that that lookout joke. And I'm not taking it back. You can't make me. So you level up independently of me. Oh, I leveled up also. That you might have. That might just be because I hit level five. Look at me leveling up left and right like a pro. Hello, Parvati. How you doing? Blad on blad on stick. So sharp it can cut some letters out of its own name. Huh. 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 Hundred percent conditions. So it's one of those games where your character's stuff doesn't break. Let's see. Hold S to sort. Value to weight ratio. Boom. Yeah, Jolter Pistol, Bolter Pistol. So those are the coolest weapons we have so far, and the shittiest one's the Hunting Rifle. Well, shit. <laughs> it's not great for my self-esteem. <laughs> You're wearing armor? You're wearing armor. Seven and five. I probably could have given you something better by now. Yeah. There you go. Enjoy your better armor. Perks. We saw this before. Oh, these must require each other. Yeah. So these are a straight line. Everything else is whatever. Let's see. How would I need to get down here? Oh. No. Requires one, two, three of the previous perks. Why are these a sequence? Hmm. 30% base health. 30% threat generated. Making them a better tank. That's funny. Sneaky. Reverse threat. No, I want them to soak up all the aggro if they can. Let's me just focus on headshotting people in those early moments. Increase your engineering skill. 10% chance to extract mods in the field. 25% tactical time dilation meter. Oh. If she uses her ability, she recharges my meter. That's interesting. Hmm. Threat generated sounds good, but engineering sounds like a like an important character specific trait to have. That seems rather mandatory. There we go. Got it. Those other people have a perfectly good camp, but you guys are just kind of hanging out in a cave. I mean, I guess caves are all right. Good for media regulation, uh, temperature regulation. You can only get attacked by monsters from one direction. But also you're trapped. But I guess it didn't really matter, because I shot one person, then y'all came running out. So, alright. Tactical shotgun. Dang. That one's got the mad deeps. I also, I might steal this. I might steal this thing when I get it. Is it nearby? It's way the hell over there. Good to know. Try and keep track of where I should go in what order. Where's the last one? Can there be another one? I don't know. Hmm. Well, one's nearby ish. Let's round out our combat. Oop. Careful, careful, careful. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Not really the descent I had planned. Two minutes of increased health regen. That's a fair bit of time. It's a slow recovery, but it makes your your standard natural slow recovery go twice as fast. Oh, 
I'm sorry, I have to check what that was. I'm sure it's junk, but... <laughs> Corporation Service Award. A medium-sized award, typical of the kind given out on an annual company achievement banquets galaxy-wide. What was this award for? Most unused paid time off? Greatest amount of coffee drunk in, on, in one break? Fewest bathroom rests? You'll never know. Most unused paid time off. You don't get paid time off in this corporate culture. We verified that in the other message. <gasps> oh, they disguise themselves as rocks. I really should have fully anticipated this, but I didn't necessarily. Oh boy. Are you okay? There you go. I killed- he's dead now. <laughs> he was still alive until that moment. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> they disguise themselves as rocks. It's really startling. Still, now we've, now we've demystified those guys a bit. They're not as dangerous as I thought they'd be. But those weren't the big guys either. Hello. He didn't even try hiding. How embarrassing. Sniper rifles overpowered. <laughs> I just saw him walking up on the top of the lookout post. I'm like, this is my chance to just get this kill right now for free. The town didn't even, the, the camp didn't even react correctly. I like barely aware it happened. Get him. Get him. There you go. That's plus 50% experience. Except I, except I don't know how companions work. So I gave them 50% more experience, but does that mean that I get more experience when a companion kills someone than I do? Or does it just mean that did maybe they get less, th maybe they normally, uh, it's probably in the codex actually. Companions? There we go. Press X to tell them to attack. Skills. I'm not sure if it's anywhere in here. Flaw tutorial. During your adventures, things that may happen to your character that can trigger a flaw offer. Taking the flaw is optional, but doing so provides you with a perk. Ooh. That sounds like fun. Now, I don't know if the codex explains it anywhere. It might take a long time to really comb over it. Somebody could probably just already knows the answer anyway. But yeah, I'm curious. I increased companion experience, but... Do they normally give you 100% experience when they kill someone? Just like as if you killed them? Or is there a penalty when a companion kills them? I almost feel like I've been here before. Have I? Is this the same camp I... I don't think it is. Wait, no, I think it is. Uh, this is the same... Yeah, that's why... Re <laughs> that's the... That's I've, I've been up there. Yeah, this is the same site I was in earlier, because this zone's really small. This is the this is the camp I cleared out before I even had a, much of a story yet, besides my origin. I hadn't even met any NPCs yet, and I was like... Oh, I was already up here. Yeah, the same rifle I do. I guess all the resources respawned. Hmm. Gotcha.
A lot of goddamn assault rifles. There, can I walk now? Yeah, I can. That was like a third of my overall weight capacity. That is my ship, right? That's mine. You guys, you guys take headshots like pros. I'm starting to think the hunting rifle's not very good. Almost like it's meant for hunting and not fighting armored opponents. Damn, I might be onto something. <laughs> the funny thing is this area is so small that I barely need fast travel. Why is this a companion quest? Hmm. Oh wait, that wasn't my first death. My first death was when I fell off a ledge around here. Forgot about that. First combat death. Deaths feel real in combat and less real out of combat. Oop! 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 Maybe you'll find out how dangerous these are. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> That's exactly what I don't want to see happen. Ugh. Oh god, they can all do that? Okay, that's bad. Okay. This is, uh, okay. Significantly more dangerous than last time. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Hi, everybody. How you doing? Uh, let's, uh... Let's pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Yeah. The brutes I encountered were like baby brutes, but there are like... Really bad combinations of things that involve like... Those... The, the, so there was a... The, not Brutes. The Brutes was the type. What are they called? Primordials? Elemental? Primordial? I don't remember. But I fought the Brute version and that was kind of a problem. It doesn't die nearly as fast as the one I fought before. But significantly worse is the Mega Mega Ultra Destroyer dude. Orthrus. I think someone's gonna send me to deal with him later. That's a named canid. That's interesting. Oh wow. Keep it quiet. You guys are just kind of everywhere in every direction all the time, huh? I'm not exactly trying to grind, so I'll try to avoid some more encounters for a bit. What crashed here? You can't crouch jump through that. There you go. Not a lot, but it's something. I guess it's just another crashed ship. I guess I shouldn't be too surprised. This is supposed to be where the collectors the collector lives. Maybe it's safe here for the first time so far. This is definitely a building I've been in before, but different. The heck are those? Collector's letter. I just got the letter today. Corporate ordered me to relocate to the Edgewater Cannery, effective immediately. It's a shame. I was really looking forward to running my own gift shop at the community center. Selling rare memorabilia. But scripture tells us that all things happen for a reason. Work fortifies the spirit and all. 
As for my book collection, I can't bear to part with it. Don't want those books moldering in some contraband locker, so I stash them all away in a cave over by the river. That's... That's your idea of a safe place to put it? Alright. A cave over by the river. Messages from Jay Bartnell. Clement, uh, is your theories. Clement, I find I'm, I must disagree with your theories about the Earth Directorate's place in the colonial system. Sadly, as much as I ag appreciate the board and the new frontier they've opened for us, I believe Halcyon and all the other colonies on the rim of the galaxy would fall to pieces or war amongst themselves if the Earth Directorate wasn't around for regular trade and settled disputes. Do you think the corporations would accept the mandated inclusion of an Earth Minister if they had a choice in the matter? Jefferson. From Sea Etheridge. Spirit of Adventure. Jefferson. This is Jefferson Bartonell, apparently. Of course I'd never dispute that Earth is the heart of the whole colonial system, but the real adventure and independent spirit upon which man a humankind truly thrives is to be found out there among the furthest colonies. I still think you're wrong about history, though. The discovery of the skip drive was not what gave the Earth Directorate power over the corporations. The high cost of the Great War left them in a weakened state, and the skip drive was nearly was simply the extra leverage the Directorate needed to return to power. Hmm. Magma. Molten magma. Wow, you're shiny now. There's the coastline. The lava's reading, reaching right down to the coast. Hmm. There should be a lot of steam, really. It looks like it's still active. So I'd expect a lot more interference. There is such a significant uh, temperature differential between magma and uh, water that it basically explodes. It's like an instantaneous evaporation and it's like combustive. That's supposed to, I think I think I've heard that's supposed to be what a, the human body is supposed to do in magma or lava or whatever is that it's uh, the vaporization of all of the body's water which is the majority of the body's mass just kind of explodes oops don't notice me if everyone else if everyone in general could just not notice me that'd be nice right now You can see the underside of the columns in here. Alright, well that's a mine. Yep, those are mines. I think that's that. Well, howdy. Oh, good thing I didn't spend too many or I would have not been able to open this. Oh, clever. The Journal of M. Bakonu. Handwritten journal of the, with the name M. Bakonu scrawled in the lower corner. And some loot. If that's your jam. If this is so controversial or whatever, I think I want to read it. Can you please let me read it? Full cover. I like it. Let me read it, asshole. 
Just open the book. Why do you hate books so much, protagonist? Why isn't your jam? Ooh. Look at the little textures there. It almost looks like you actually could open this book. Maybe it's modeled to be opened. Maybe when I hand it to him, he'll open it or something. Hmm. It just says to return to the vicar. It doesn't give me any other options. I'm not sure what other option I would have either. I don't necessarily know of any other buyers, so maybe I'll just go along with it. It doesn't hurt for some of the people in the town to like me, regardless. Even if I don't like the town. Only good things from only good things come from high reputations, generally speaking. 